This is Ysbyty Gwynedd. It's a busy hospital and we've come to look at a sculpture. This sculpture has glass fish suspended on wire on the stairwell near the main entrance to the hospital. I think the colour is like in the water. So it, they all use the colour blue, purple, green to represent the sea. I think the sculpture represents organ donations. As the fish go round, the circle grows bigger and that means there are more and more people donating every day. The sculpture is called Gift of Life, the Rolf of Oed, and I think it represents that with the birds and the fish, everyone coming in, joining and helping more people live. And the words across the wall, donation, Rolf, Boed, life, it just helps people understand that there's people that need more help and people are helping. The colours that they've used are known as like quite calming colours as in like blue and green and purple. So I think it just makes the people who come here a lot more relaxed. My name's Abby Roberts and I'm the specialist nurse for organ donation here in Esperti Gwynedd. Uh, what does the sculpture mean to you? The sculpture is very important to me. Um, we worked very hard to recognise that organ donation is a really special gift that families and the donors provide to give life to someone else. So to have something in the hospital that acknowledges what they've done is really precious. What kind of a response have you had to the sculpture? We've had a really positive response. Most people that come this way um, always comment on how beautiful it looks, how it's brightened up the area and how important it is. I really like the sculpture, I think it's calming, it's, um, it fits nice in with the building and the colours are very important and well it's a very busy place so it's like time to like, when you to sit here it's like stops, like everything stops and it's like a beautiful sculpture you can look at. It's not just a bunch of fish hanging on a string or something. It's like it's a celebration of um, how many lives have been saved by um, the brave people and it's just a very nice thing to have in the hospital. What was the inspiration for the sculpture? We always research the local area that we're, we're working on and we like to, to do artwork which is relevant to that area so we wanted to create an artwork which was based on the, on the sea and uh, so that was, that was the, our, our primary uh, thought. How do you get the sculpture to appeal to everyone? Well really it was to make it look beautiful. We wanted to make it really dramatic and to, to make mm. it look like a vortex of fish spiralling up, upwards and uh, also because um, it's quite a gloomy space, there wasn't a lot of light, we, we decided we wanted to incorporate light uh, to bounce off and reflect off and, and make the, the, uh, the, the fish glint. How long did it take to make? Uh, the whole artwork took a period of close to a year from start to finish. In hospitals, health and safety is a big thing. It has to be easy to clean, so the whole sculpture is fitted on a mechanical hoist that you've just got a, a little remote, remote control that you just can click and the whole sculpture can come down so each fish can be cleaned. I think the reason that the sculpture is so successful is because it's organ donation and I think if it wasn't it would still be a great sculpture but it wouldn't have that meaning behind it.